think that wish should be granted. Well, I think there's one myth, one lie, which is often put around by those who support assisted suicide and euthanasia, which is that if you have a terminal illness, if you are disabled, you will die a horrid and gut-wrenchingly painful death. The truth is, that is absolute nonsense. We have dedicated professionals, we have modern drugs. It is an absolute miracle what these individuals who work in this sector do. Palliative care is the clinical care provided by all the members of the healthcare team for patients where a cure is not possible, but where we believe other forms of care are appropriate and should be given, uh, particularly symptom control, uh, care psychologically and socially and indeed spiritually. Uh, Professor Clive Seal of Bart's Hospital in London found that one sixth of all deaths in this country were brought about by what we call continuous deep sedation. That means a person, it could be in a hospice or in a hospital, is put into a state of unconsciousness and given no intravenous fluids or nutrition and they die in a few days. Now this to me is slow euthanasia. The proponents of euthanasia will quite often say, ah yes, uh, but you palliateurs uh, practice deep sedation frequently and they'll point to prescription sheets, but in actual fact that just isn't the case. Um, I remember years ago when I first went to a hospice as a medical student, um, I was amazed how um, uh, well able patients were within a very few hours of death to have a conversation, to talk, to say how they were feeling, Did they were they uncomfortable, were they not, and so on. So sedation is not a primary aim of palliative care. It's, uh, the, the aim of any sedation is to ease anxiety and uh, make people slightly more tranquil.